Hello, and a very short introduction into ellipsoidal and orthometric heights. And we want to keep it short, so we have in general an ellipsoid, to a definition of our world, a very generalized, typically as we are shown with this dashed line. And uh, this is then approximately representing our Earth. And then there's a more detailed model, which is in this case then the geoid, which is in this case here this blue filled part where we try a little bit to come closer. It's not an ellipsoid, it has a little bit more details in it. And then we have our real terrain, our surface of the Earth. And therefore, these are the three um, models of the Earth that we need to take into account. And here we come now to our uh, definitions. So typically we talk about orthometric height and the orthometric height is in relation to our geoid. So the little bit more detailed uh, model from the earth. And very often when you have a country or an area then your ground control points are in this local area and they want to be as accurate as possible. And so they are generally in relation to the geoid. So ground control points should normally be um, altrometric heights. So representing our topographic surface in relation to the geoid. If ground control points are not related to a geoid, but to a ellipsoid, I think this should normally be known to the customer or to the user, because we typically assume that they are in relation to the local geoid. And also the geoid should be named uh, as there are some general geoids and then a little bit more detailed geoids in some areas. Then we have ellipsoidal heights, so which means the height is really based on this blue line. This height has no relation to our topographic surface. They are really here based on this general ellipsoidic height. And um, let's take an example. So that means if I would take here my ground control point at one position, then, as we mentioned, this ground control point is in relation to the topographic surface and then from the topographic surface on our geoid. So this is then the height that this ground control point represents. And when we fly with a drone, then typically this is flown in an ellipsoidal height so the drone stores in the EXIF header our GNSS position, which is in relation to the ellipsoid. And because the ellipsoid and the geoid is not always the same, we call this the undulation. The geoid undulation is the difference between the geoid and the ellipsoid, and this can vary everywhere in the world. And when we define a coordinate system in a project, then this is our, we call it target coordinate system. So we want to end up in this coordinate system. And typically because ground control points are the, uh, the bread and butter of everything, we should normally define a coordinate system with a geoid because ground control points typically are in relation to um, geoid. And Therefore, when we come with our GNSS drone data, then we know the drone data here is in relation to ellipsoidic height. And then we can, when we bring in the data, transform it to our geoid, uh, geoid height um, because we have the informations about it. And that's it. A very short introduction into ellipsoidic and automatic heights for projects. Thank you.